SAP IT Process Automation by Cisco. Apply SAP best practices to automate incident resolution proactively. In this demonstration, you'll see how the SAP IT Process Automation application by Cisco, formerly known as Title Enterprise Orchestrator, can help you take incident management to the next level. With SAP IT Process Automation, you can do more than just monitor infrastructure events. You can automate incident resolution proactively and in compliance with SAP best practices and save time, money, and effort. SAP IT Process Automation is a runbook automation application that provides access to more than 400 out-of-the-box processes and workflows throughout your IT infrastructure, including those built around some of the latest technology breakthroughs, such as the SAP HANA platform. Here, we're looking at a list of background processes, all available right out of the box, that have been designed to run automatically in response to certain specified triggers. The process highlighted here has been created to run automatically whenever a CCMS alert identifies an aborted background job. By double-clicking on the process, we can open an editor where we can see that this process proactively executes a sequence of troubleshooting tasks. These are the same tasks that an SAP basis expert would typically perform to learn why the job aborted, such as reading the SM37 job log. But with SAP IT Process Automation, there's no need to wait for the basis expert. Depending on what these tasks uncover, the workflow may branch through one or more conditional or procedural paths to triage the issue further. If SAP IT Process Automation can resolve the issue itself, it will, and save its findings and corrections as an incident report, as defined in the ITIL standard model, that it transmits to the appropriate individual or team. This could be a basis team or a system administrator, and the incident can be transmitted through a variety of mechanisms, the application console, email, SNMP, even a plug-in to another management application. If SAP IT Process Automation cannot resolve the issue automatically, the software will save its findings and corrections and transmit the incident report to the technician or administrator who can. Let's take a look at an actual incident. From the main console of the application, we can go into the operations area. Here, we're looking at a list of incidents generated by the workflow that identifies background processing errors. If we look at the properties associated with this incident, we can see additional information, including the job name, the server where the job aborted, and the time of the event. The application also provides additional information in an XML-based incident analysis report. These summaries provide detailed information from the troubleshooting steps that the process executed. You can look at the job logs, for example, and see which failures occurred, enabling your personnel to take proper steps to resolve the issue. We mentioned that the SAP IT Process Automation application enables you to respond automatically to incidents throughout your IT infrastructure. In the Targets section of the Definitions panel, we can see a list of connectors that enable the application to interact with a wide range of infrastructure assets. Here, we have a Java connection that can be used to communicate with the Java stack. Here we have an AD9 connection to an SAP system. Beneath that, we have an AD9 ABAP connection into the ERP system. And beneath that, we have an AD9 ABAP connection to a database associated with an SAP system. The database connectors can interact with all the databases you'd typically use with SAP software, including Oracle, SQL Server, and DB2. As you can see from the list of targets on the screen, SAP IT Process Automation offers connectors to a wide range of IT resources, from application servers to web servers and more. What about creating your own automated processes? With SAP IT Process Automation, that's easy. Let's look at the Background Processing Errors workflow again. All the tasks, activities, and connectors that appear as part of the workflow in the middle panel were dragged there from the toolbox in the left panel. And all these elements, from remedies to database connectors to SAP support activities, are included with the SAP IT Process Automation application.
Under the SAP heading, for example, there are general ABAP activities, ABAP user management activities, and more. If we want to add a task or function, we can simply drag and drop it into the middle pane. It will hook itself into our process and then become part of the workflow we are creating. Since we added a generic SAP RFC activity, SAP IT Process Automation provides an opportunity for us to select a specific remote function call to use, and we can select that by tapping the Properties button. As you can see, there's a huge collection of remote function calls and T-code calls that you can use. Simply choose the one that you want to use, and it becomes part of the workflow at that point. As you have seen, SAP IT Process Automation can help you take incident management to the next level. You can do more than just monitor infrastructure events. You can automate incident resolution proactively and in compliance with SAP best practices, saving time, money, and effort.